So I know a lot of people ask in some of the comments, what is this and why are you doing it? And how do you do it? So I wanted to give you guys some tips and tricks and some reasons for doing it. And it's just gonna be our demo girl. So <laughs> she's never done it before, like I said, and it'll be good for you to see how we can You're gonna want to set up the bar. Um, it's just a little bit taller than me, so this is a little high um, for me, but it's just set up so that the bar hits when she approaches the bar. The bar is hitting the crooks of her elbows. So, okay, so you're going to approach the bar, and I like to hold my thumbs in and keep your elbows about, like right to your side, and then try to angle so that your fists are coming together. Um, to unwrap the bar, I like to use my momentum and I make sure, I use my momentum to kind of swing back and then unwrap in the position that I'll be squatting in so that my spine is stacked, everything's stacked, and the weight is loaded on my hips. So, I'm just going to get into a comfortable position and then swing back, unwrap, and take one step back with each foot and then I'm going to squat. You may want your feet to be a little bit wider than your back squat or front squat because obviously your elbows are kind of coming right in between uh, your knees. Since, you know, this hurts uh, a lot of times, you're gonna want your reps to be a lot quicker than you would a normal back squat. So my speed usually looks something like this. And the heavier the load, the faster it is, I don't know. So I really just want the set to be so that is how it is your Subscribe below if you haven't already, and if you like more of these how-tos, please comment and let me know. Uh, this is, I guess, my first one doing them. So comment if you like it, and I love you, and stay strong, and bye.